Welcome to NWA Connie Corso's podcast, where we talk all things dogs. All right, we we here. We we back for another show. Um, first off, I, I want to say uh, everything has been going great. We've been getting giants on the channel. We got another giant on the channel tonight. Uh, and I want to shout out a few people before we even start. Some of our faithful followers, uh, Marlon at Marlon Pierre nine five six eight at Doug seven fifty seven. At Python Dunn, Do Dogo Argentino, at Vicente Moore. I just want to take time to thank our followers. People have mm -hmm. been following us early and from day one. Yeah, how the um, fuck doing? I mean, glad y'all yeah. following the good guy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, man, tell the people who you are. Uh, my name is Reggie. Um, I'm the owner of Ironstone Kennels, um, located in Merlin, southern Merlin, that is. Um, I've been. Uh, my kennel been established since uh, 2013. I got involved. Um, it's just been a, a great journey, a great journey. Mm -hmm. It started off pretty rocky. Um, we uh, couldn't get like the proper information that I needed to like to get like to really get started. Um, mm -hmm. It took for me to uh, go to uh, different breeders of a different breed to get like the uh, the information that I really need. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, just to, like the basics, because I was just I was brand new to it. You know, so right. I own dogs, but I never was a breeder. That's funny you say that, bro. Because like, if I depended on the court on on the Corso world alone to do this channel to help people to learn, I'd be shit out of luck. <laughs> but, I mean, but, but so far, it's, but it's, I see though. So far, but I see I saw I see you run into a lot of great people. So. So you want to pass to success in my eyes. Yeah, it's all it's about dogs. Because if you if you know dogs, you know dogs. You know, yeah. I mean, but then you got people that's breed specific like you that could take people further. But uh like you say, a lot of people just need help getting to the right the right steps and, and things like that. Yeah. And we've been trying to make this happen for a while, but we, we got both got busy schedules and I'm glad to have you here, brother. Right. And I'm glad to be here. Yeah. So, so, so you from the Maryland area? How long you been involved with the uh, Corso, and how long have you been breeding the Corso? So I got involved since uh, 2013, and then um, I've been involved since then. And uh, I uh, just been had a, just a great journey ever since. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, who did you, uh, if you don't mind telling, who did you start with in the uh, in the Corso game? Well, it was, it was a uh, a friend of my father in law's, and um, he was a Connie Corso breeder. Well, they got into it, uh, you know, they they got into with the breed. I'm not really like too keen on their story. I just know that they had some nice Connie Corsos and. Uh, and one of my uh, logos uh, was the father to the pup I, I got from him. I went, oh. you know, purchased from him, you know, and um, it was just a nice meal. So I fell in love. But back then I was ignorant because I was just, I like size at first until I had to learn. You know what I'm saying? So the size is not everything. But that's why I really wanted to get into with the Connie Corso because I seen this big like humongous, like great looking dog. I was like, wow. Like, you know, so I was like, I, I think I might want to do that. Like, see if I could do that. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me go back to something you said, because, you know, my, my channel is like a, uh, educational channel and why you said when you first started, you was mostly into size. What changed your mind about that? The size uh, of the dog. Let me clean that up for, you know, the size of the dog. Yeah. 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 So uh, basically, um, just learning and seeing, uh, like the, the more heavier dogs had more health issues, uh, were keen to uh, hip dysplasia, uh, elbow uh, and joint uh, issues. Uh, I, I noticed uh, the more heavier dogs were that way. Uh, the more leaner dogs, now that I see, are like more healthier, have less health issues. Um, 
I keep all my dogs outside. I got a nice setup for them. You know, I, I winterize in winter time. If I need to bring them in, I bring them in. Well, I also, I got a, um, I got a ten or a twelve by twenty eight shed that I I, I got uh, decked out for them. So, like, if it get too cold, I can take them in. It's insulated and everything's uh, good for them. Right. So, what's the uh, what's the what's the ideal size? male or weight for male corso for you and the ideal size weight for a female corso for you i just believe um genetics gonna play a big part so it could varies it depends on like the type or, or or like what 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 one breeder is breeding for um i, I like working dogs but also uh i kind of like like build my dog's mental and, and, and stuff like that. Like, it, like, like it's more so like a emotional support dog or something like that. Like it'd be so funny. Cause it'd be like, we just so locked in. And it also is like with my daughter, like she, she had seizures, but like, that's how I got really got with the dogs mm -hmm. because when she had her dog around, like she, she, it lessened her seizures. Like she was just real calm. Everything was just, like real good so it kind of like helped so and i noticed like the dog like blue ivy my dog now and i'm sorry to get off the subject but no, you know, right. be right there on it um like she's so keen and locked in like like she could tell if you like like if something's going on like she come real close and just show you a lot of attention like i mean it's just an awesome thing to see i mean i don't know uh how deep people would like get into it but I know the uh, the mental of the dog. Of I know the line of dog I'm using is just so unique. Right, uh, bonding is important. The bonding is a difference in uh, uh, making a dog work. Just so many things bonding with that dog. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, so, um, so you you are a pretty big figure in Maryland with the Corso and. I'll be straight up known. You guys are known to help a lot of people. You know what I mean? Don't give I, a shit about helping people. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it was a concept that I came up with. Uh, it was like the brotherhood, the Connie Corso brotherhood. So one day, like I was, you know, I got on Facebook. I've never been a Facebook person, but I've been on there since like the 13, I believe now. So, or 14 or 15 or something like that. I forget when I got on, but, um, as soon as I got on and started like getting into like the groups and stuff, it was just like bashing, 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 bashing. Oh, yeah. And I was like, dang, like I like I really don't know. Like I'm trying to get involved in the dog world so I can learn more. And it was just like it wasn't like too much help that I can get from those groups and stuff like that. So like I say, I went outside the box. I, I started talking to um just different breeders. There's a lady here and uh, I think she's in Brandywine. Uh, she was just giving me so much uh, information, and uh, I forgot the dog she was breeding, but she gave me so much information and helped me out so much. Like it was just ridiculous. Like so, I just like I felt like you know I I return the favor to the people now that I'm learning, and when people ask me, I just return the favor. So when we came up with the brotherhood. I, I've reached out to Dion, and I, that's when I that's when me and Dion build our friendship and our bond. Like like. I was just trying to get myself in a surrounding of people just doing the same thing I'm doing. And that was passionate. Like I was passionate because when I first got on like the Facebook scene, they like everybody was a backyard breeder. If you're not doing this and you're not doing it, but the main, those, those main ones are just like, they, just, they throwing rocks and trying to like take the focus off of them. And it's just, it's, it's a funny thing. Now that I've been in for such a long time, like I'm more now all on the political side. I'm not a like I'm not involved, but I feel like I want to get involved because I see all the shenanigans uh, that these some of these county causal entity, entities are uh, are doing. And well, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll call yeah. them out one the CCAA. Mm -hmm. Man, they got it's just a scandal, man. Like they just want people to keep investing their money. Like I, 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 I was a member of the CCAA just to get the information and stuff like that, and everything was about the money, the money, the money. But 
I also noticed they wasn't coming into my community because the Southern Merlin area is, is a Corso community. Is like when you go up around, then you gonna see a county Corso, a family with a county Corso. Like most, like everywhere you go, really? like okay. yeah, everywhere you go, you will see a family with a county Corso. It's amazing. I mean, it's a lot, but it's not a lot, you know. But right. you you will, you will see them. Like if you yeah. out about, I guarantee you will see you'll run into one or two. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I see what I, I know exactly what you're saying because like I got I got family in Texas. When I go to Texas, I see a lot of course. So Arkansas, where I live, it's not as many, but it's they coming. Yes. They coming, but it's really common in, in some places, you know. Yeah, yeah, but uh yeah, I yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of politics, uh uh in dogs, uh and and like you, even with me. Being young in my in, in the game, I reached out to people that helped me, and I reached out to people basically told me kiss their ass. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I had yeah. one dude I uh, invited on the show, and he disrespected me so bad, and uh, you know, it kind of it kind of hurt my feelings because like, I mean, I wouldn't me, even, I wouldn't even let that type of stuff like hurt you, my feelings you, because you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You got to get over some quick of these because, guys. They like, they I'm get a, a name boss, to get it real. They get an ego. When they get the right. ego, it's like it's like what well, we talking dogs here, really. You know right. what I'm saying? It's nothing more than us talking about a canine. You know what I'm saying? Right, and the right. dudes and the and the ends and the outs of this canine. Like mm -hmm. anything else beyond the dog is uncivilized to me, in my opinion, because like right now, it's not about the dog. It's about everything of of revolving around the dog, show world, uh, who's in control. And stuff like that. Like the dog gonna be lost at any moment. Uh, they keep want to tweak the standard and the CCAA, which mm -hmm. like the AKC dogs. Like my dogs are FCI. I imported my dogs in from Italy and Romania. Okay. All my dogs are FCI dogs, but I never do register my dogs to the AKC. I do register them to the ICCF. Okay. Yes, because the ICCF is just they, they holding record. And that's all they doing. That's all they doing is holding records. Like it's no ins and out. They're holding the record for our breed, which is a great thing. You know what I'm saying? I think they I do believe that ICCF should uh invest a little bit more into the breed because they introduced the breed to the world outside of Mike Satilli. Mike Satilli, Mike Satilli I talk to Mike Satilli daily. A great guy. Everybody talks trash about him. But the thing is. They introduced the dog. Him and his father introduced the dog to United States. So they have a, a big play in this because we wouldn't know about the dog if it wasn't for these guys. And I, you know what I'm saying? And I heard all the stories about everybody doing all this and this. That's why the shenanigan is now. Like, that's why we came, like, the head tight. All our dogs are like all over the place. Everyone's dog is different. Oh, this is a cool so like this is a, like where are we at with it? Right. Like, but no, they don't want to talk about that. That's a hard subject for them to talk about. Oh, we invested money into um something about the jeans and the DNA. That was good. That, that was on you on y'all. But like, what about everything else? Like, like what about the other people in the community? It's like it, it's no nothing for that. Let me ask you this. Let me let's get into this. So you mentioned uh Mr. Mike Satilli, uh the one who introduced the, the Junior. It's Junior, it's the son because the father passed junior. away a long time ago. But okay. Mike Satilli Junior was there the whole way. Uh okay. they, they home videos when them in Italy bringing dogs back. Mm -hmm. uh, they it's a lot of uh is a I seen another video not too long ago. They kind of like questioned uh the que uh the Super Six, I don't, I'm not, I don't know, but it, from my what I hear, they say it was true. Some say it's not. I don't know, but what do you mean? The, the you talking about the contamination of the Rottweiler? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it, I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of hearsay or a lot. It's a lot of stuff that like all the the older breeders that they know, all they the know, older, <laughs> all <laughs> of them know. They know. Yeah, they know. So that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now because they have. All this information, they can fix everything if they all come to a head and like, okay, look, we need to you know get the dog correct. But 
everybody britches are too big for them. So everybody got their chest out and everybody want to be the head person. That's why the Connie Corso is just in that part of the world, in that part of the Connie Corso is, is just, is just, is done. It's no more like the show world. Hold on my fault. And I'm just mm -hmm. real passionate about it. Yeah, so like the, the show, the show world, everything is, is manipulated by persuasion. Mm-hmm. Every, every time the dog is shown is getting manipulated by persuasion. Like it's a ton of other beautiful dogs in there. Them dogs never went. You know why? Because the shower, the 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 person that produced the dog, and the judges, the people, it be judges on the the panel, and they dogs are being shown. Okay, let well, let's clean this shit up. Okay, let's let's go back. So the audience will know what the hell going on because you you've been in the game a while. So let's go back. So when 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 the Corso when the Corso hit America with Satilli, what happened after that? Uh, it was it was, it was several stories, but um, which one you believe? <laughs> I don't know which one to believe. I just know that okay. we have Connie Corso. Okay. We have what we have. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to fix it and make it right. Like the standard should be one standard through, I feel, my opinion, through NCHI, FCI, ICCF, AKC, the CKC or the UKC, whatever. The, the, uh, the standard should be the same for the dog because this is a breed. And if anybody look up the definition of breed, you're gonna see what it says. It's like it's gonna like it's gonna tell you uniform. Like the dogs are uniform, no matter color. That means type. Right. Gene, gene uh geology geology. I'm sorry, but but you know, geology and all that is mm -hmm. all should be uh almost like the same. Like when they so when they DNA the test, and this is my belief, this is just my opinion. I'm not I'm not saying this is actual food, but this is my opinion. When they DNA the dog, it should absolutely come back 100 percent Connie Corso. If you can get a percentage of any Connie Corso, you can have 100 percent Connie Corso. So that's how you know they are still doing dishonest things inside the breed. Dirk Madsen won. I heard people go to his job, couldn't even see what's going on inside the garage. You know what I'm saying? So like I like his dogs Roddy Body. And they try to say that is what the true Connie Corso is. That's not. That was part of that mix. Yes, Dirk Madsen is a breeding someone. He can breed a dog because he held that type from back then to now. He got different types though. He got a show type. And he got that just the stuff that he's doing. I seen some dogs. I was like, oh my god! Like I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? Not to talk about nobody dog, but it was like this is alcohol, this and this. He it wasn't his dog, but mm -hmm. it was you know they promoting it like that. And I was like, oh no! Like that's not even nowhere near close to a Connie Corso. Right? You know, like you like you got to understand like the the frame of the dog. The gen like the the mental of the dog, like to know that like, you really have a true Connie Corso. And yes, in the beginning, it was just a type of dog. It was just a really a band dog. I believe when the dog became um, uh, a breed or saying it's a solidified breed, all that should have been taken taken care of. Then okay. we wouldn't be in a disposition. Let me put up a disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry. Hey. Like, I'm yeah, sorry. All right. it's all right. Hey, I ain't go cut it neither. But all hey, right. th these are his. You know, you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna air it. You know what I'm saying. But these are your these are your thoughts and opinions. They ain't got shit yeah, to do like, with DWA. It, I mean, I'm not it, not trying to separate myself from uh, running from nothing. But yeah, it, but it I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Like, I, I'm not ducking no record. Like, I like the. The dog is an Italian dog. So when the dog mm -hmm. did come here, we made the dog popular. The United States did. But that's a so good point. That's a good point you made. So being that the country of origin is Italy, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it be more so that Italy would be the big boss 
or is there another type of corso that America has? It almost seemed it should only be one dog. It the corso because the corso did come to America. Mm -hmm. The corso is here, but when the corso came here. It was tampered with, but it was already being tampered with in Italy because really it was just a band dog when it first came anyway. It was the Connor Depressa, all the same name. It was a course dog, you know, mm -hmm. helping the sheep, is is on a farm, is protecting these people, is mm -hmm. you know, it's doing all these different things. So, mm -hmm. you know, back then they used to have fights, they used to fight the dog. So whatever dog that used to win, that's what all the other uh farmers will bring come bring their females to breed with. That's almost how they got a type. And it just wasn't nothing but a, a Neapolitan, really. Then they just stopped mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. That's all it was. So, like, I talked to uh, Gianni. He's a Neo-breeder, old-timer. He, he, he really don't like He like me. He know I know how to, you know, what I'm doing. Because we talk dogs all day. Like, and he had text me out of the blue. What's going on, young man? You know, mm -hmm. we, we talking dogs. Gianni is a, a Neapolitan breeder. He, he, he know when the Corso came. Right. So, and, but he just called it a, he called it a Neo bastard. He said he ain't nothing but a, just a Neo bastard. And that's all it is. A legitimate kid. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And, and then, um, you know, from, from my studies is um, that, it's, in my opinion, it's such a splintered dog that most most uh, a lot of stuff I read is not even a breed yet. You know, like the Italian but, dog is different, the American dog uh, uh, bloodline not, is different. It's not really different. Like that, some of the Italians. They respect some of the American dogs. Some of the American dogs mm -hmm. they do respect. Uh, I will say I do have relationships with uh, people in Italy. I, I text and talk in uh, Romania mm -hmm. as well. Um, they do have a, res a form of respect for some of the dogs. I know they got a, a lot of respect for Tony Scanny. I think Tony Scanny, the only American to ever send a dog back to Italy. And oh, that really? was. Yeah, okay. but I believe uh, they have a form of respect for some of the dogs, and some of them they don't. Uh, they they what I do <laughs> notice. What I what I do notice is though they all from both sides of the water. They 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 do they dislike the boxer type. All that like all that's a no. But once they dislike that, like they start seeing sneaking, putting other stuff, and you start seeing corsos looking like baubles. You start uh Rockwell uh, Bull Master Head. <laughs> bull Bull Master Head. I seen one look yeah. like a, a, a English bulldog in the face little. Yeah, they come out of course. But um see, we wouldn't be going through that if like so when the dog got popular, I you know, I, I kinda like see like they just try to like hurry up and start shipping because now the Americans trying to buy the dogs because when they when they brought the dogs over here, they got these these big massive dogs running around in Ohio now, and and they, they talking about them. You know, word of mouth back then was great. Like, they, and then they having like uh, red breed shows, and they they coming like they used to come down here to Merlin. They had a red breed uh, association. That's what it is here in Merlin. So they'll come down to Merlin and do like red breed shows. They'll go to Ohio, like wherever they book the venue. But I know Alba will host the show. And like so, they come to all these different towns, and people seeing the dogs. Because after these shows, they going out, you know, stuff like that, and they selling their dog, the dogs. So it's kind of like is people finding out about the Connie Corso. Right. And now, like, it's, it's not that many of them. So what you think they're gonna do? Mm -hmm. I would go back and import again and try to keep it unique, you know, keep it uh, rustic or what is true to what you Entire, brought yeah. over here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they couldn't make it back. I don't know what the story is on it, but I know what I would have done. Right. You know what I'm so, let me let me ask you this. Um when you talk about character of a uh corso, a strong character, do you think a strong character can can actually show in a dog show? Or it, a, a working dog can't show in a dog show. It definitely can. It shouldn't be no difference in show or working. 
I mean, uh, showing is just working as well too. It's just it's just it's a different form of it. You know, it, it takes it takes a lot of practice and courage to just go in the ring around a lot of other people knowing this breed. So this is a training thing. It's anything that you put the dog into, it's gonna excel because it knows that you like it. Like that's the purpose of the dog to please his owner. Why so do you think? Gonna, why do you think some guys think? Oh, they ruined in a breed. Putting them in AKC shows, is it just lack it's of education? Not, it's not that the showing is ruining the breed. It's, it's just the, the, the influence of the back of the show. Like, okay, since this dog was winning, this type of dog, so everybody going, okay, we got to tweak this thing. They say this is what's winning, so they tweak it. So now everybody want a, a, a shorter muzzle. Or something like that, or a longer muscle. What about what about water down temperaments? Is there a lot of that going on? Well, were people actually breeding the water down temperament? I mean, I, it just varies. It varies a breeder. It varies of line. It, it just varies. I mean, you you can never you can never say. It. But it's all on what when the dog leaves. It's all on what you put into your dog for it to excel. So you mm -hmm. even though. Say for instance, the dog was laid back and it was calm and clear. Like if 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 you work your dog and like you work with him and you work with him and work with him, and he started like like it and see that you like it, it's going to start excel because you implement this into him. It's almost like a, a it's like you imprint that into him. Right. That's that's all it really is is an imprint into. Like mm -hmm. whatever you want your dog to to, to do. You imprint that into them. Does that just mean working with them every like, like every day on what you want? I don't think there's nothing the county Corso can't excel in. Mm -hmm. I produced some ones that uh, I got one that went to Baltimore, a uh, female farm female man. She done been winning all types of little ribbons out there. They got them in it. She doing uh, the shitting like she had come and find a person. Like she doing all this. Like I got one in North Carolina like. Uh, the guy trained his dog to sniff out ammunition. A Connie Corso is sniffing out, it's finding the ammunition bombs for him in the yard. Like she had sit there and bark. Like it's amazing. He told her that he imprinted that into her. You know what I'm saying? So it's all on what we as owners do with our dogs. Right. It it is kind of sweet when you see people you sell sold, excuse me, you sold puppies to doing different shit like that with them, man. It's like Cause you know when when they leave, you kind of get the feeling like you know you kind of look at your puppies like going off to college. Hope you gonna be okay. You know what I mean? Yep. So, My and then, is, I, like, well, anyone I deal with, as far as this Connie Corso thing, I try to like hold a bond with and, and keep up with my dogs and keep up with them. Like I help. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times, like people will reach out to me, uh, Joe. They rehoming dogs. I didn't produce the dog. I don't know who produced the dog. My thing is, I don't want to see this dog go to the kill shelter. Most shelters down here in Merlin are kill shelters. The Connie Corso is really like a hard dog to rehome because after its first owner, that's what it's stuck on. You know what I'm saying? You'll have to really be able to like build that bond back with the dog to really like you know to deal with it. And I knew some people that that was pretty decent at that, and I rehomed some really like. Uh, uh, one dog off my line, this guy, he was amazing. He was, like, very territorial. He was, like, like he was a one-owner type of dog. But I, I reached out to a guy. The guy came and got him, and they built a, a heck of a relationship, man. And it's yeah. an amazing thing to see. So that's how you know, like, true dog, man. Right, right. True dog, man. What um, you don't like about dog breeding? <laughs> uh... It's, it's not, I don't like it. I like everything about it. I like every single thing about the dog breeding. I, mm -hmm. I really just do this for myself. Like, like, mm -hmm. like me back there in the yard with my dogs are, it's like a woo moment for me. Like, it's just okay. I got that bond of time. Like my kids are, oh, like my youngest daughter is 18 and she's been involved with this as well uh, with the county course. So, and she's very sharp. I'm trying to get her to be a veterinarian. Like she, she very sharp. Um, she, she, she know, she know when dogs, like she know how to, like everything I know, she know. She mm. not to dogs, like medicine. It's like she, she good. She's very mm. good. Like she, I told her how to do shots. She, 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 she excellent, man. So, 
I'm going to cut that. Let's go here next. So, Reggie, uh, you know, this show is about giving back, and a lot of new newer breeders look at this channel. What advice do you give a new breeders, brother? Always invest back into your program. Always. Every litter, invest back into your program. Like I say, uh, so this is like a new house for uh, where I'm is now. Um, me and my wife got uh, 3.5 acres. is an open land. Like, it's not really open. I got trees, but I got open space for them. I let my dog run. We walk. Um, this was a great investment right here. And, you know, I work every day. Like, I just don't breed dogs. I work every single day. I get up every morning and go to work. I take care of my dogs. Everything I got, I bought with my own hard work money and, and and got my dogs and now that I have my dogs and they old enough and I'm breeding them uh, anytime that I have a litter I always invest back into my program no matter what you're right that's a no that's matter good advice yeah you, you, you yeah and then you know <laughs> you got to think about that you had you you went out there and you got your 3.5 acres I'm on an acre and then you got to utilize your space correctly if you don't have like the amount of area well even if you got a big area you need to utilize it correctly for your dogs yeah when i first started out i um i think my yard was like zero point like 85 but it was a nice yard but i had a nice setup my dogs ran uh i fenced it off you know i had a neighbors here neighbor here neighbor behind me uh the neighbor behind me she loved the dog she said then she called me she didn't know i moved she said did you move or something like I don't hear them dogs. Uh, and she was an older lady. She said them dogs kept me safe. She said like she said if I heard something, I know somebody was either back there or something was going on. Because that was the only time really my dogs ever, ever barked, and, and and she really liked them. I was, I, I should go check on her. How but, they bark now? That being that you live in the country, they do bark like they hear me when like say as I come home. You know they hear my truck. I pull up. And they just get to go on roof, roof, because they want me, they know I'm home. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's time to have fun. We about to get out. I I do my cleanup. I, I have a routine each day. Uh, I, I when I come home from work on break because I got a split shift. Um, I go home and I, I got a split. Shift. Uh, I I be off like four hours, so I go home. I go up there clean up. I got the dogs out. We running. I I might burn like a little five right there, and we just sitting back there and we having fun. I might throw the stick with them. They all running for the stick. And I'm just enjoying my dogs. Really, that's what I do. I enjoy my dogs, bond with them, and, and try to f understand their mental. And but I, you know, from what I have seen, man, they definitely understand us a lot. Like, I like just by like verbal us verbally talking to them, they understand. Gotcha. So, they understand our feelings when you're mad, when you say oh, yeah. They oh, understand. Yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you something that my dogs bark about. Like, so I stay in a neighborhood, but it's kind of like. It's a wooded neighborhood, you know what I mean? It's it's just they put some neighborhoods in the woods. So coyotes set my dogs off. Mm -hmm. Cats, might be a bobcat mm -hmm. and Amazon, man. If they hear me talking to somebody out in the front, they just go oh, row, 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 row. So people need to <laughs> My dog chased the FedEx truck uh yesterday. Like we was out. I had him out. I only had two out with me. We were walking down mm -hmm. and the I didn't know the FedEx man was going like to the houses. I got houses like back behind us, and it's like bro, and he was backing down like, and they started. I seen him run. I'm like, what is going on? And yeah. I called him, hey, clap. They turn around, come right back. Yeah, so that, that that's something to think about, especially if you guys uh make sure you your neighbors know your dogs, because your dog gonna get loose one day. <laughs> nah, my. It's it's my my dogs got have got loose, but my dogs don't roam. Only time my dogs ever roam, they was chasing a um a fox. They chased the fox. Mm -hmm. My two import dogs chased. They didn't come back, and I didn't see it till late because I was cleaning out the thing. But I seen them running through the woods. I heard them like, and like they was chasing something. I couldn't. I, they didn't come back. They was on that chase. Mm -hmm. they, wanted mm -hmm. that, they wanted that fox. See, and, uh, I, they came back I, like a few hours later. Yeah, so I got dogs. They they'll just hang around a property if they get out. Those uh those Central Asian shepherds I got, they don't go nowhere. But I got a course, so 
that bitch will travel. <laughs> no, like my photos don't travel. Like I, I, I didn't came home from work and my male didn't jump over the cage. Like he'd get up on the, the top of the doghouse and jump over. Mm-hmm. No, I came and he was just out there waiting on me. Yeah, yeah. He'd been going that's with, good. Yeah, right. yeah. Corso is never world. Corso never supposed to leave the property. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that how cool, man. It's like, no, nah, man. Oh, I'm man. Oh, <laughs> Derek. I'm playing. I'm playing. It <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with me. I swear I ain't saying nothing about it. Uh, 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 let's go here. Um, damn it. What I was, where, where was I going to go next? Uh, 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 damn it, man. Brother, I forgot my thoughts. Um, let's talk about your breeding methods. When you developing a program, I mean, how tight do you want your bloodline? So how I, often do you use new blood? So right now, all my dogs are related except for one. And she has a litter now with uh, my import male. So I'm keeping something off that. So after that, like all my dogs can be related. So I done a breeding last year with uh, Dion. Uh, with his dog Nipsey. Nipsey be throwing some nice dogs. Uh, very like, sh- like structurally wise, like like nice head type and stuff like that. So what I done was I put the American dog across the import dog, and I got a, a heck of a meal out of it. I kept him. He he, he very like he he won bite work. He won to work. Um, I had um. Triple C K nine. He's like, hey Ridge, I'm in the earlier. So I had I had him out, my pup out. And when he pulled up, he was on him like Rrr. and like like stood his ground. And he's only what back then he was probably like four and a half, five months. He's six, seven months now. And he stood his ground and and uh, triple C was like, Man, he he ready, ready. I said, Yep, he ready. He stood his ground. And wow. like that, that was a good thing to see for me, you know what I'm saying? The product, so it worked. You know, the breeding was, even though that was a scattered breeding, I was chasing uh, Nipsey structure, head type, everything, a little bit more girth, not much, just a little bit. Nip- Nipsey is a nice dog. Uh, put that inside uh, the blood with the import stuff, so it kind of like leveled it out. And um, So let me ask you this. So when you guys do the scattered breeding, right, uh, and, uh, you gotta start you, somewhere. You gotta I mean, start. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Uh, it's called a hybrid vigor dog, basically, right? So, it, no, can the, gotta, can the hybrid vigor dog produce himself? It can. You think so? Okay. It can. It can. I, I I've seen it by using different bloodlines of dogs and, and just like. Have like no type of lines in them that is connected, and uh, the dog have produced itself uh, a few times uh, like that. Maybe he was probably bred a little different. I don't know, but he did produce itself. Um, but out of those type of breedings, uh, what you like, that's what you really supposed to hold back. That's how you build your program. I know that's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So uh, what I like, that's why I got I got uh, six six dogs. Five of the dogs are mine. Oh no, no, sorry. Three of the dogs are mine. I got two of the imports here, and then um Millie. So uh Millie is a nice female too. Uh, Dion produced her. She's a American line dog. Um, so now I got to uh bred her with the import male and got something very nice out of that. So I will be holding back. Maybe the female. I'm gonna hold back the female off that because I got the male. So really, I just I, I like the I like the females more. So I, I'm also only keep like one or two uh, males and majority of the females. Uh, females to me, uh, you'll get your your true quality of what you uh looking for out of her, or you can yeah. see if she, if she's maintaining that. Or she's everything. She's everything. And yep, yep. Like she, she's the smartness. She's the brains. Like she, she, she's pretty much like teaching the pups. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she teach the other dogs. Like uh, Millie, uh, she's she's really like the head honcho. Like she's like she's a she's the alpha female in the yard. Like she really like pretty much like runs the yard. Like uh, she has a zero tolerance attitude. Um, mm-hmm. 
She she built four tough. Uh, she she could jump six foot fences, and this was Dion produced, and that was all for uh his his first lines, and, and she's a nice, and I mean she's nice, she's nice, and she, she she's not like too off of the um the import stuff. Like they they pretty much like neck and neck. So it was. So, so you keep mentioning Dion, and for the audience, uh, we did a uh, interview with Dion. I don't know when this aired, but we did a Dion uh. An interview with Dion Tough, key of Tough Enough, Connie Corso. Th- these brothers are well acquainted with each other, and uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah uh, we we talked about the Connie Corso brotherhood. Talk about that, brother. Right. So the Connie Corso brotherhood was a. Uh, it was something I came up with. So what I done was I sat there, I wrote down like some things, and then I started looking on Facebook for people in my area and I started looking at breeders. Well, I actually I've reached out to Dion because it was a dog in my pedigree, which was like a tough, but he like, nah, that's what me. So we just got the talking dog, talking dogs. And um, we, we built our friendship from there. And then uh, we just got to talking. And so I'm like, man, let's see, are you trying to do this thing? The, uh, I call it the Connie Corso brother. He's like, yeah, I'm with it. And uh, so, me and him teamed up, and then we reached out to other people in our area, and we brought them in. So we built us a, a I don't know what I, what I would call it, like a, a, a admin team for it. Mm-hmm. And um, we pretty much have meetings. Uh, we vote on certain things. We do certain things. So, uh, like, right now, it's me, Dion, Evelyn, uh, Cornell, and um, Keontae. So we, we're the board members. And so we'll, we'll get together and say, okay, everybody, we're going to put up and we'll come out. Our pile is like, well, okay, y'all, we're gonna, everybody, we're going to put up 300 a piece or something. So we'll put up 300 a piece. And we'll donate like two people to, uh, or two people will volunteer their they time. Okay, we'll go to the grocery store. So they'll all go to the grocery store and we'll pick a date. And we'll, we'll just uh, buy a lot of food. We'll cook on the grill. Uh, we'll have vendors come out. Uh, we'll have uh, just uh, Connie Corso uh, owners and enthusiasts and other breeders that come out, and we'll just have a good time. We'll we we'll, we'll have giveaways. Um, you go, uh, you'll get. We'll give everybody a ticket when they come in. Everything will be free. Like we just giving back, you know, to the community. Everything be free. The giveaways be free. We giving the tickets out. You don't have to buy the ticket. You don't have to buy the food. Uh, we the trainers may. Uh, like we'll, we'll do like temperament tests and stuff like that. So the, the different trains that we have down there, they may say, uh, okay, they want this amount of money just to do like a little quick temperament test on your dog just for their time. So whatever they work out with they with the uh, the people that's there, it would be on them. Um, anything else, um, it's just uh, we'll come together as a collective, as a whole, and just like just put up and do all this, and like we have giveaways, and it, it just would be a good thing, and like people enjoy it, they love it, and it, like that's how we, we we bond with our community. Like we give back, we help them out, because if we helping our community, that means we helping this breed in our community. Like it'd be lesser dogs in the uh, shelters, it'd be uh, lesser uh, uh, accidents because we're educating. Uh, like, like, like when, like, if a Connie Corso get lost, like, man, we got a Southern Merlin page. Like, they somebody put up everybody and shit. The dog would be found. Yeah, and one of the guys, uh, well, the guys who turned me on to y'all, I'm going to give him a shout-out because he told me, like, y'all was so helpful, even with him important, uh, important a dog. Stevie. This guy, this guy, Stevie, Stevie Sullivan. Stevie, Stevie, we, Stevie. I'm going I'm, I'm to shout you out now, right, brother? And I forget the name of Stevie program, but don't 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 slap me, brother, when you see me. But I'm gonna put it on here for y'all. Sevelin, 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 Corsos. I forget. That, that's but, Stevie. He's over there in Kansas. Yeah, yeah. And he so he has good dogs. So if y'all need help from him, and he also makes uh, he's also responsible for us uh having a lot of uh branding gear with our shirts on it, Corso yeah. gear and stuff like that. So hit up, look up Stevie Sullivan on Facebook. And, you know, yep. So Stevie reached out to me one time, and I was like, "Yeah, Reggie, uh, I see you, you importing them dogs, and I'm I'm pretty interested in getting one." So you know, I I, get, I walked him through the um, 
the process. I told him about it first. I said, let him and his wife discuss it. I said, so if you guys, you know, if you want to, I'll put all of us in a group chat with the breeder over there. And uh, I, I, I stay here the whole way, like to let you know, there's not a scam. It's nothing like this. This is where I live. This is my cell phone number. This is my home address, stuff like that. Like I want to help him bring imported, especially this line. Cause it's that Capano line. I, that that dog should be here because that's one oh, of the hardest lines. I don't know Stevie had some of that shit. Stevie got the Capano, yes. Oh, really? Okay, he didn't tell me that. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's uh it's probably he probably saying PCC, but uh, uh the PCC dogs are Capano dogs. Uh, so that's Anka. Anka is in Romania. Anka. Yeah, Anka yeah. Puka so she, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, so, I talked to her before. Yeah, so um. Her she she like like we talk about import dogs. So she lives in Romania, but she imports her dogs in from Italy. Uh, nice. She 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 is she's a great person. Has a great nice. uh, like she like her communication skills is on point. Um, like like I mean I haven't dealt with her in a while because I nice. think she kind of like switched on the lines. I'm not for sure, but the Capano lines I'm just building on what I got from her originally. Like then I had, I got a, I had another import dog from Italy, from Southern Italy, from, uh, Kenneth James and, um, Pablo, not Pablo, but Flavio Bruno. Flavio Bruno uh, yeah. So Flavio Bruno, uh, he appraised my female. I bought a female, a brindle girl. I, uh, he appraised her. I got pictures and all that. I seen, I seen you that um, uh, when I finished. Uh, he appraised the girl, um, sent her over. I got her. And then um, something happened. I didn't get the paperwork, so I just I got rid of the dog. I sold her to someone in like New Jersey, and they they was okay with not having the papers. Uh, they they was in following that same breeder that I, I bought the dog from, and uh, so I just moved on. So after that, after that, that right there was good. I I got the import boy Rome first. Import I imported Rome in first. Uh, Dion helped me with the import. Um, I, I called him. I was like Dion, kind of like short on the um. The whistle name, like what you need, brother. Yeah, and, sometimes you got to come together. Yeah, but <laughs> I say, I say, if you, it, it wasn't nothing. I, like at this time, I'm really just getting in. I'm working. I'm, I'm living check to check at the time. But I, I love my dogs, so I'm spending all my money on the dogs. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was like, brother, I need like three fifty, and he said, man, all right, ding. It just came right up. <laughs> so I told him, I, I said, brother, I said, when the dog come, because I live in a residential neighborhood, I already got like four or five dogs. So I'm like, look, when the dog come, you can just keep the dog. I said, let me keep him for two days, just, you know, have a little experience with him, let my daughter play with him and see him, because mm -hmm. me and her went to go get him from the airport. So like, after the second day, I'm like, oh, you can come on, come and get him. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. You can have him. Just come and get him. So Dion came and got him and raised him and done a great job with him. And um, you know, after a while, Dion just brought me out from him and you know, and let I go back and now I pay him to get the stud fee. I mean, I I you know pay for the stud fee because I brought that dog over. That Capano blood is is something different, man. It's what what a, is that? So I I I I have a couple cats that I, I be talking to and they be talking highly of it. What is about that Capano line? It's a a round, a an around dog. Like it does everything. Like mm. it, it just a, it is strong, but it, it's real like soft to you. Like it's like it's very protective over you, protective over the, the your land or your property. Like it, it just is is it mean is a Connie Corso. It's a, yeah, the true characteristics, huh? The true characteristics of what a Connie Corso is, Capano shows one thousand percent all traits of that. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, do you mentor a lot of people? Yeah, I, 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 yes, I mentor. I, I've been mentoring. So, Shauna Demores. I talked to Shauna Demores one time. She reached out to me like Reggie. Um, I see what you do in your community. I we like that. So, mm -hmm. if you want to be a part of this, so I said it is it, it, a good accomplishment for me just to just to receive that from her it was it's mm -hmm. great you know what i'm saying so I, I accepted it so but before so i am a um a mentor for the uh ccaa akc 
here in my region in the DMV, I am. Okay. Uh, or so like cool. on books, on books, I am. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't really like utilize it. I've already been a mentor for the people in my area, for the people that call me, reach out to me and talk to mm -hmm. me. Like, if I can help you, I help you. You know what I'm saying? Right, I say, right. Walk you through because I don't want you to make some mistake that could have been avoided or you mm -hmm. someone could have helped you, is, but they just being petty and don't want to help you. And mm -hmm. now you got to experience. Sometimes it's good to go through your experiences. That's how I learned. You know, I had to just right. go what I had to go through. Right. And some of those quick jewels sometimes. But I know I know y'all going y'all going to come with a platform one of these days. So when people can uh, can hit you up, because you know what? It's, it's too hard to talk to a, a lot of people. Sometimes you got to have a microphone. Yeah, but I, I, I do my best because the one-on-one, -on -one, I make sure they get it. Like, I, I mm -hmm. make sure that they're, they're pretty decent with it. Like, you, you sure you got it? Like, I make sure. Like, anything else you need, like, just send me a text. I'll make sure that I help right. you. Right, like, right. Like, people like, my old Reggie, my dog, this is going on. Like, mm -hmm. the, 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 the hair starting to miss. And pretty much I know is, like, the dogs have a lot of infect. They get more infections than anything. Uh, antibiotics clear um, majority of a lot of the stuff up. You know, you got a lot of other things that they do come across that, you know, you mm -hmm. need medicines and stuff. But as a dog, man, you will learn the tricks of the trades uh, to, to, uh, to to get rid of certain things. So, like, you got uh, to. yeah, so like, like Cox City is and all that. Oh, yeah. Learn your, learn your, learn your, learn, learn your meds to mix, to, to make the solutions to, to cure that. Like, I don't even be having it, but I do a prevention on all my litters, on my, my grown dogs. Uh, I saw you that you asked about deworming. Uh, yeah, I do, let's talk about that. I do I do deworm. I do, I start my deworming process with my puppies at two weeks, and then at four weeks, and then at six weeks, I do it at six weeks and one day, six weeks, two days, six weeks, and three days. That just ensures me that they are clear of all parasites. Uh, Joe, I done had people call me from the vet office. The vet one, the veterinarian wanted to talk to me and say, "Sir, I just wanted to say you done a great job with this pup. Like, yeah. I, it's not. I don't see anything. Only thing the vet didn't like is the ears. Like, I don't like ear cropping, but like everything. Like, like, other than that, he said, "Man, you done a great job. Like, I just wanted. To, he said, "I wanted to tell you this myself. That made me feel good too, because I, I put pride into what I try to do, you know, or what I am doing." You know, I put yeah, but yeah, when you take them puppies in there and they don't have worms, events be like, why do they do that? You like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. process. I just make sure that uh, my dogs are uh, one thousand percent healthy before they leave. Right, right, Not, yeah. Like, no signs of anything. I did have a dog that had uh, naturia, but uh, entropia. Entropia, yeah. So you know. The family took the dog to the uh, vet. Like, you know, I, I didn't, you know, it wasn't like intentional. They told me what it was. And I, I, I just sent the money straight to them. Like, here you go. I paid for the bill for that day. Like, I, you know, I apologize. It wasn't, it wasn't that. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to hit a get over on you. I just want you to get a good quality dog. It, it, you know, and so you can, so you and your family can enjoy, you know. But after that, like, no, no problems. Like, most of my people that do come back, like, I have, like, a lot of like owners to come and buy like another dog. Yeah, they just fell in love with the dog that they had. Like I just want another one, you know. And I, I allow it because from this point, what I see and what you what they've been sharing what, what with, you, they've, yeah. they, they've been taking care of this dog. So like this, yeah. like so you know, I'm I, I'm very in tune with my people. That's what's up. Repeat. But I don't do a lot of breeding. I breed for myself. And I breed like maybe like one one female one time a year. I don't do a lot of breeding. I do mm -hmm. have this though, but mm -hmm. I do. I try to do like more educational things. Like if you if you check my pages out on uh, Instagram or Facebook, I'm always putting out information on the breed, like information on the breed. Like yeah. I would get that more out than anything else because if we don't have the information out there, the breed is going to be like. I just don't want to see the breed go downhill. So right. I want to do my due diligence and educate as many people as possible so the breed, you know, be stay in good standing in the States because, you know, they be banding dogs and they do all types of stuff. So I don't want to see that, especially not in my area. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I, I saw uh, 
actually you shared a post about the correct head type. I saw a bunch of people sharing it too. I was like, damn. And that's what it's about, you know. Yeah, like like right now, like right now, what I see like the Corso community has been like kind of like dry. And it's not because of anything that us as owners or enthusiasts are doing. It's like because of the back scene. Like they all in court. Like it's so much stuff. That's like, like you can't see like have you seen a good like Connie Corso discussion outside of what I just put on my page? Um, you have to, yeah, you have to, it's almost like you have to, well, I have, I have actually, uh, but it ain't easy access to shit I saw, you mm -hmm. know, I saw, I saw a piece by the Belgium County Corso Club, it was excellent, but mm -hmm. it ain't out there, and it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot, the Corso, it's a lot of politics involved. But see, see what you said, you said, you said Belgium. It was in Belgium, yeah. Not, yeah. that's not the United States, they're not that's going not United through. States, yeah. They're not going through what the United States are going through with the, no. the clubs. Right. With the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and, and then see, I just not uh I kind of notice what it what's going on now and shit. I'm like, God. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah, they're not they not going they not going through what we're going through here. They're not going mm -hmm. through like like they they like the, the their clubs are not in court, like in, in real court. Like they're not right. in real Court. Like right. our clubs over here are in real court. Court, yeah. They stay mm -hmm. there. Like it, 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 it's, it's haywire. Like they are mm -hmm. suing each other. Like it, it's crazy. Like it's beyond me. Like that has nothing to do with the Connie Corso Mastiff. So that stuff needs to get kicked out of the breed. And and we really focus in on the dog because at the end of the day, that's what it's supposed to be about. It's not about the dog over here right now. And then that hurts a lot because people got so much uh, time with these dogs and for them just to be doing the stuff in the back scenes and stuff like that. It's like it's like making a dog like less appreciated here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because uh, yeah. it's less appreciated because of the the things that's going on in the back scenes. Like like they got to get out of that. Like they, people got to get out of their own way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's time to make the Connie Corso great again. Let's make it. Let's make it about the dog. Let's not make it about who's who and what's what. That's that's mm -hmm. only bringing agony into the breed. Mm. Real talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, everybody can see it. Like people just need to get off that high horse, man, and just like let's let's really like talk about the dog. Man, they kick they. Man, it's just so much, man. They kick Tony out for no reason. Like they 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 they. they it was just a scandal, man. They kicked him out. They kicked him mm -hmm. out for no reason. Said he was doing all this stuff, and come to find out, he never did none of the stuff they said. And they mm -hmm. know it is a is a is a thing floating around saying like we shouldn't put that video out because they in court. Like they floating this thing around. It's, it's so messy. It's like like the court old community is like all my life, all my children. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's, it's soap like opera. One of the soap, soap opera. opera. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a soap opera. Like, and once they get the beef in, like, so if you get the beefing with somebody, like, you, like you can't, you can't even have a disagreement, like about type or something like that on a, like, on a discussion. Like, if you disagree now, we beefing. It don't even have to be that. We could just, uh, just uh, agree to disagree. Like, come on, let's let move on. We talking about a dog. It don't have to be like. Now you now you want to go through my profile and talk about like family. We talking about the no like it's so, yeah. So like <laughs> let me tell you something. So I don't know about all the politics like you you probably know. I just see her tits and bits there because I'm like really busy, but but I do know it's politics in it because you know when I reach out to people, hey, you want to do this show? I had one dude tell me I looked at your friends list. <laughs> <laughs> What they got to do with anything? Uh, I mean, what the fuck we got to do with me? <laughs> hey, I'm, about to, shit, I'm a hermit. Nobody come see me. I looked at your friends list. <laughs> and I don't think I want to do the interview with you, buddy. <laughs> it's like, what the? It, it's silly shit. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's just crazy. I just think that uh, the ones that's in the position need to get out. Like, the ones that's, like, if you show, I don't think you should be a uh, a head person in the uh, CCAA or any 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 Corso club at all that has any any uh, dealings with 
any way to persuade a standard, any way to anything to persuade anything about the dog. Mm -hmm. I don't think they should have nothing to do with nothing on the board at all. Mm -hmm. If you show, you shouldn't be on the board. Vicky, she's on the board. She's the mm -hmm. vice president. She shows dogs. Vicky win every show. She's on the board. The people that's on the uh on the judge panel for showing the dogs are on the board or they are a breeder. It's mm -hmm. no way a person like you. Or anyone else that want to show a dog is going to win a dog. You have to be connected with them people. Th there you go right there. They're, they're cheating. They, See, they're, this, they're, this, this is the reason why people say, I looked at your friends list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes, okay. sometimes because they don't want to talk about hard topics. Mm -hmm. they don't, it's like it's a lot of stuff. Like, I know one thing for sure, two things are certain. Like, and like I'm like I don't have a Scandi dog. I do talk to Tony. Tony mm -hmm. is one of the most realest uh, Connie Corso breeders from the old days that I have spoken mm -hmm. to. He keep it one hundred percent real with yeah. me. He don't cut no cards, and he tell me what's what. And then do, do, do you know? But what, not like he, no gossip, but yeah, about yeah not no, no. He yeah, yeah. he really he really not like that. Like yeah, he people don't say. gossip. But, look, but if you I, gossip I, I about, hate if to be, you, I hate to be you, talking about him online like this. But let me tell you something. But uh, let me say this: if you if you talk about Tony Scandy in them Facebook groups, he's gonna light your oh, yeah. ass up. Like all you gotta do is say his name three times. He's gonna pop up like right. Candyman right. and give you all. All right. law on whatever you're talking about. Right. It, it's funny. Because the times I've talked about him, he don't really talk about other people like that unless he I He never talk him. about nobody. He never talk about a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't I never, Tony, nev, Tony Scanny never, I, I, I didn't talk to Tony on several different occasions. He never brought up any other breeder. Nobody. Mm -hmm. He never brought up nothing. We were talking about dogs. He's educating me. He's giving me all game on the dogs. Like now do they see that I'm real? Tony shouted me out on Facebook. Charlotte Demore shouted me out on Facebook. Like, mm -hmm. like they like it feel good to get recognition from those guys. Even sometimes if I don't, if I disagree with them. You you, you gotta agree with them because like because at the end of the day, uh, you talk to Shauna and uh and I I hate to be called a name, but I've I've reached out to her. She helped me with stuff that I didn't understand quite, you know, thorough. So I'm not, I'm not in a position being young in the breed to even give a fuck about what them guys had going on back in the day. It, you know it what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> back in the day, I, it don't got shit to do with me, brother, because you don't it, really know what happened. You know what I mean? I, I ain't talking about you. I'm just talking no, about. No, no, I know, I understand, yeah. but mm -hmm. it, it really don't have anything to do with nothing anymore. That's the past. Yeah. It's like, it like now, like you want to keep bringing up the past. Like, well, what about right. the future? The dog right. is established now. It's a, it's considered a breed. Right. It's not a band dog anymore. It's not just a type of dog anymore. It's a breed of dog. So now this is a breed of dog. Now what can we do? What should we do? That that's the yeah. that's the question right there. What should we do? We should keep one standard, and hopefully the Italian standard. Stop tweaking. Let's let's make a shorter muzzle. Let's make a longer muzzle. Let's like let's stop let's stop doing that and keep the dog sane. Because if you keep tweaking and keep trying to make a longer distance, the dog will be lost. You will never find type again in the county Corso because you kept messing with it. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Damn, man. Uh I don't know where to call you Reg or Cat Wig. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, I'm gonna let it fly. Fuck it. They, the motherfucker stay mad at me anyway. So no, nah, I mean, um, let it. Man, I, I really believe that you should because, like, sometimes people have opinions, and like when you on when you in those groups and stuff mm -hmm. like that, like they will get on there, they will gang up on you. Like you will say something, yeah. they will gang up on you, try to make yeah. you look bad, like assault you, stuff like that. But sometimes people be having valid points, but you really can't get it out because we're we're texting, but we're talking here. Like I'm getting my my point across. Point if you got a comment, yeah. if you leave it in the comment, thank you. Comment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We could leave we could debate comment. about that later. We're talking about a dog. I'm not insulting nobody. I'm not you know what I'm saying stuff like that. I did say some insultful things. Like I like some of the. <laughs> Of the dogs I don't like, they, yeah. they're, they're not yeah. Connie Corso to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm not keeping it one thousand with you, uh, Joe. 
They'll you know be in the saying? comments. They'll yeah, be in yeah. the comments and say whatever they want to say about it. You know. Yeah, um, they, they they might talk a lot of stuff about me. Oh, you got the you got the, the Italian dog. That are, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Just, I like it. I loved it. I loved it. I love that line of dog. I built mm -hmm. my line of dog off of it by implementing certain other dogs that you know fit the fit the the criteria of what I like or what I want in the Connie Corso of of what a true Corso is. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think we should all come to agreement on what it is and like the standard. The standard is the most important. If we don't fix, we don't have to fix it, but just keep the standard what it is or what's true to what the Connie Corso is and not mess with it ever again, I'm good. You will never hear my mouth. But you can't keep fixing or let's 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 do this. Cause they they've been in since 2010. The CCAA, mm -hmm. the AKC, the AKC recognized it in 2010. Mm -hmm. Since then, the standard has been tweaked. Four, five times, and they working on it again. Maybe six. You got to check it out, but you got to check it. But maybe four to like it shouldn't be that many times. Evolution is not evolving that fast. It is, but in thirty years, the dog is not going to be changed that much. When you look but, at other breeds, you know what that breed of dog is. Right, but for correct, but for a correct dog, do you see any major difference in between a? Uh, uh, Italian dog or or dogs in other countries versus dog in our country. Do you see a big difference? Is 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 truly not a difference? Maybe in lines, yes, you will see a difference. In lines, yeah, but you will see a, in line, You will see a, a, a quite a difference. But from my, you know, me dealing with the dogs and stuff like that, like from the, the dog that I got from Dion Tuff which is Millie, she's super, like, you could tell, like, she like what American like in the beginning, like that real hardcore dog. Mm -hmm. That's what she is. She's a one-owner type of dog. I'm the only one can deal with her. I'm the only one can just touch her, be going in with the puppies. Anyone else, you'll have an issue. Like, my import dogs, they've, they good, like, they even like it's just even like if they if you bond with them like like you can come in you come around them rub them play with their puppies and stuff like that and they'll just be cool they'll watch you if they don't know you when you first come up without nobody on you right. but with me around if everything seems like it's just okay we just you know then they good but anything okay. else anything else they it'd be uncivilized they they is a great line i just don't know what to tell you about the line it's like it's a great like with the mental it want to work it it want it want to be a lap dog it wants attention it want to give you attention it's like it's just a renowned dog okay let me ask you this uh cuz we could probably get near to the, the end here give me your thoughts on health testing I believe health testing is very important. I believe I, I believe by health testing, like you may can avoid certain things that you don't want to come across. And then I give you an example. Um, well, it's, it's almost on the import stuff, and it's another breeder. And uh, since the Temple Connie Corso, so she came in, but she came in head over heels, but she came in from YouTube. You know, and she done good. You know, she was on there, YouTube good. She really don't know the dog. So I looked her up on Facebook. I was like, hey, I'm her friend. I didn't know. So I reached out to her because she imported her dog in. That particular line of dog uh, carries uh, a, a seizure trait, like to have seizures, um, stuff like that. So I shot her a message like I wouldn't get the dog. If I were you, I would look it up in the DNA, uh, course of course, uh, DNA base. She's like you don't know she like she, like she basically told me off right so I'm like so months later went on they say oh you didn't hear about the sense of timber dog the dog had a seizure it was a video floating around the dog was seizuring out seizuring out and it was off that particular line from over in Italy mm. you know the, the curry the uh the seizures uh the, that seizure in a line, and um, you done told everything else. Well, which line is? Oh, <laughs> uh, it, it was um, I 
I'm going to have to get back to you with it. Okay. I, I got like I'm just let me think about it for a second. I mean, okay, yeah. I, I stay away from it. I don't really want to know about that line if you got seizures. <laughs> you and know, Millie blocked it out. Yeah, okay. yeah, I blocked that one out, man. But <laughs> yeah. I did reach out to her about it, and um, she told me off. The dog had a seizure. Then like it was, it was just, it was just ridiculous. Then, then weeks after that. She had another litter. The whole litter died. This lady throws up a, a GoFundMe. We we as breeders, like I don't know, like you gonna you gonna go through certain things. It's nothing that you should do a GoFundMe for because you lost a litter. She took that GoFundMe money and bought went to go buy another dog from like out of the country or whatnot. Like you know, like stuff like that. Like that's you using because you got a little power. You got it. Like you know, what I'm saying you made people feel sorry for you. You know what I'm saying? Breeders go through uh, different things each day. She made people feel sorry for her, sends her, tens, uh, sends her temple, whatever her uh, thing is. She made people feel sorry for her. They donated all this money to her. I mean, I mean, I mean, a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount. She, it's like, you don't do things like that. Like, 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 it's like, that's abuse. Like you abusing your power because like of, of then you using it through like the Connie Corso like that's just wrong like that's a bad representation of what what people do as breeders we go through different things like at that point like this is this is this is a, all this stuff that we go through as breeders are learning lessons you figure out how, what to do and what not to do so you won't make the same mistake again. But if you lose a litter, you don't reach out to the public and ask for no money about no dog. You're a breeder. Stuff happens. Get over it. Suck it up and try again. You don't. You don't ask no one for no money. We don't. We don't do that. But they call me. I mean, back. what was the they'll money call, for? What was the money I mean, for? I, I, uh, she, health. Health. Uh, uh, vet quote, bills, quote I guess? to try to see if she could save the litter. She already knew oh, the litter okay. was dying. Okay. Pretty much, like you knew the litter was dying, like. She still took all, accepted all this money and done all these different things. Like that, that was that was a smack in the Connie Corso face within itself. As a breeder, I would never do that. I had I had a litter of um, ten. I lost eight puppies. I didn't go do a GoFundMe. I didn't do none of that. I I I just figured it out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I figured it out. Go There's some pain in this game. <laughs> There's it, gonna be some heartbreak in this game. It, it, sure. I mean, it's, 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 it's learning experience. It's just mm -hmm. it's a learning experience. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really, like we we are like we are as breeders, we gotta learn to be veterinarians too. Like, so like anytime that I had an issue with my dog, this is what I done. I took my dog to the vet, I I asked questions, I seen the medications, I did all that to, to know for the next time. I had a yeah. I had a I had a female that caught mastitis. Mm -hmm. Mastitis is a blockage in 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 in, in, her, in her milk gland. Nipple, yeah. In her milk gland, yeah. So mm -hmm. she, had, I took her to the vet. My youngest daughter, she she told me, like, "Dad, I was at work." She's like, "Dad, we got we got to take Jade to the to the vet." I'm like, wow. She's like, her her uh stuff is like it's like clogged up. So I'm like, okay. So I get home from work. Me and my daughter and my dog, we go to the vet. I take her to the emergency vet because you know I'm scared for. Her. I don't know what's going on. Like I never saw this before. Nobody never told me about it. Nobody never even like even mentioned it. Like 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 giving no type of information about it. Like you never you never hear them talk about anything but puppy sales. So like these are experiences that I'm going through. But that's why the brotherhood came along too. Just to make a long story short. So we took her to the vet. The vet showed me what to do. Uh, warm compresses. We gave her uh, antibiotic, warm compresses, and the antibiotic was good enough so she could still feed her. Uh, what's the name? We milked it. We, the vet made me milk one. He showed me, like, you got to push it out, push it out. Like, he showed me. So anytime that if I ever had that or anyone around me had that type of issue, uh, I know what to do because I learned that from the vet. The vet then showed me it. We breeders, we vet, so you got to learn your tricks and your trades too. Yeah, you got to you got to definitely keep that knowledge and have somebody to talk to. You know, whoa, because it can get scary. First, when you, especially when you start having your first litters, or well, you need somebody to yep. walk you through. Because you know, like, go ahead. When you when you like, that's why you surround yourself with other people that's doing 
what you're doing, no matter the breed or nothing. And just make sure that, you know, they're genuine. And they, you know what I'm saying? You surround your people like that. That's how that brotherhood thing came along. Like, that's 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 a major part of what's going on down here in, in Southern America, like the brotherhood. Like, we're not backed by no other entity, but we just our own entity. Like, we can't, like, and I'm going to tell you this about that. We could have got backed by the CCAA, right? The CCAA said all my club members in my club that we don't even charge them. They just a part of our group. Like they just want to learn, come out to functions, you know, let other people see their dogs and stuff like that. Like they want all them people to register or not register, join their club to make our club become recognized by the CCAA. We donated to they look, we donated and stuff like that, but we didn't like I didn't that's that's not what we doing. Because now like why? We don't need your recognition. We don't need that from you because what we doing is really like genuine and really like thought of, of with love and like really care for the dog and for the people just dealing with the dog. So that's very important for us down here in Southern Maryland. Dion, Keontae, Cornell, Evelyn, like our group of friends, like we really like we really invested into this. Like, like it's, it's really like a big fame. Like, we, I, I hope you can make it out to one of our uh, functions one day. Yeah, like, I sure will try. Yeah, yeah, and like come out, man. Like, it, like you would see it. Like, we we working dogs. We having a good time. We eating. We just talking dogs. We sit out there all night. People coming and going, taking pictures. Like, it, it's just a beautiful thing to see. And like now you get the. It's not just about the dogs at that point now. Like, cause now like. It's like a community, and like we really like vibing, like people passing information on, like job information. Like it now, it just turns into a whole like uh, secret society. Like we helping people get jobs. Like oh, you y'all hiring? Like people getting jobs through like dog stuff. Like mm -hmm. actually, like right now is a guy. He didn't even buy a dog for me. He came to like some of our functions. Like he support and stuff like that. Like uh, he was going ahead like, man, Reggie, I, uh, I lost my job. I was like, look, my job hiring. He worked with me right now to this day. And I met him through a dog the dog function community. And I helped them out like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You reach out and do things like that. It's always about giving back. It's, it's really about the dog, but it's about the things that you you building around the dog too. It always has to be positive. The stuff they doing in CCA that's negative. Like that's that's like that's frowned. We should frown upon that. The things that we doing in the community, like real people doing in real community, like uh, Stevie and them. Stevie and them have things. Um, yeah, Stevie. Yeah, Stevie is. Uh, is they it, do some things in that community. Yeah, and that's what it's a. That's that's really what it's about. Uh, I, I don't I, give a damn how new you is in the game, man. Lock up your territory. Make yeah. a difference in your territory. I don't give a it's damn what nobody supposed, tell you. Supposed to do that, like and I, mm. uh, Stevie, Stevie sat with me and De Dion on the phone, and we we helped them, like we guided them through what, what they going through, like that now, like now, like once we started doing it, I started seeing like everybody we having a, a course of this, like in different communities. That's a great thing to see. Now people understand that sound. It's not always about the bigger entity. It's about us. If you if you really enjoy this dog, if you really want to really be involved in the dog, involve yourself. We built the community around us. We helped the community around us. We built the community around us. So we brought the people in that have dogs and helped them. And they appreciate that. So when we do have functions, like we don't even ask for um donations or none of that. You get it, y'all having a function, they'll send a uh, donation. Charles yet. Reggie, hey, I ain't gonna make it, but uh, take this three hundred and buy some food, waters, and everything. Like, didn't even ask. He just did it. Like, he's supporting the movement because he been, he comes, he comes to see. It, it's a nice turnout. You should see all the people that come out. This, this, this eager for information, and they can't get it in, in a negative environment. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And then that 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 that. Uh, damn, I'm stuttering, but that can clear up misconceptions about the breed people come out and you know, a lot. Uh, yeah okay we done a we done a walk cornell uh cornell uh sweetie uh explosive kennels so he he uh he's in charge of organizing different walks he organized a walk in washington dc it was probably like a hundred dogs a hundred of us a hmm. hundred dogs brother a hundred dogs we're walking the like we see the monument, 
like like people they are stopping us. Like, can we take pictures? Like, like they are in all like what type of breed is it? Like, not every it seems like it's a people know, but a lot of people don't know. So we introducing this dog into the like the the more uh, open surrounding area of our community. Like we taking the dogs downtown. Like they are walking up on us. Mm-hmm. Like please, like like, can we take a dog? Like I let her, I let I let people uh, like, like Blue Ivy. She has a great temperament with people. Like she she like people. Like she's a people's type of dog. Animals, no, she don't like. But people, she she like. So people, they took dog. They, they can we take like yep. Here you have her. Take her with you. Mm-hmm. They taking pictures. Like I don't know. She on somebody's Facebook and Instagram or whatnot. But it's just a beautiful thing. And, and, and like and people, they everyone enjoy it. The people that seeing us. And us just just involved in the walk and with the dogs, like it was just a great thing to see. You should you should come out one day, man, and really get that. Like that's a true experience without no show stuff, without no bickering, without nothing. People just truly enjoying the dog. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. So, uh, man, I'm about to shut it down. Uh, you have anything else you want to close with before we get out of here? No, I just definitely uh, appreciate. Um, you know, you have me on, like, give my yes, opinion. Like, like, I know I uh, you asked about me and Dion. I definitely would love to get on with my brother. And, uh, we'll do it. We'll and do it. We, all, we always have a great dog uh, conversation. Man, man, them talk daily, every day, about mm-hmm. dogs for the last past five, six years. Mm-hmm. Every right. day. Well, tell the people how to get in touch with you. Uh, my Facebook is uh, Reggie Einstein. Um, on Instagram, I'm Ironstone Kennels. I'm on YouTube, Ironstone Connie Corsos, uh, in the den. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting my little, like, I'm not doing a podcast, but like I say, I want to give information. Like I, I kind of like be a little nervous in front of the camera, but yeah, I'm about to start like, like, I can't every- tell. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, but you know, I talk to you though, Joe. So I'm yeah, comfortable, I know. Yeah, I'm yeah, comfortable yeah. with you. I'm comfortable <laughs> yeah. with you. Yeah, but yeah, I, it's it's always like that when you first. Uh, I'm starting to get comfortable with it, but yeah, I, man, I be sometimes I be ready to shit a brick when I, you come on here, be, uh, <laughs> because it's you know people are looking, you know, even though we having a conversation, it airs one day, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's kind of like, man, it, it's, but it's been good. great. It, it should. Sure this is. I feel like it was a great interview, man. I'm sorry. I know. It is. I be a little excited. I be trying to like get a lot of things out. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I got a lot of great points. You know, and yeah, like yeah. I really want people to hear them. Like, because at the end of the day, and I keep stressing like about that CCAA stuff. That is just a bad thing for the breed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you know, the community can come together. So. Yeah, or the community just, just, just you know, like kick them out. Like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, 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 kind of like, like, not saying like that, but just kick them out, like, as an engine, like, don't allow that. Like, we gotta, we gotta stand up to them because if we keep this going for anything, we we gonna continuously keep falling for everything they they give us. Like, yeah. they can they can do what they like. Okay, today we are gonna change it. Like, we want to tweak this thing. They can do that. Like, it just sound, because it they sound, it sound like politics everywhere, like. National everywhere, yeah. every is everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, don't put so. no brother because the dog when it, when they establish the breed when they make a standard that's what it's supposed to be. You, you, that's you what it's supposed to be. Supposed to like tweak anything like that's why the dogs are what they are. Like when you see any other breed that's an established breed, that's what you you know what that breed is. No matter the breed, as long as it's established, you know what that breed is because not they all uniform, they all look alike, everything. You know what I'm saying? No matter the color. They like you could tell, you could tell by the uniform, like for the genotype or the phenotype, whatever. The phenotype, yeah. Right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Reggie Ironstone. Thanks, brother. Hey, right, thank you. And that wraps up another episode of NWA Connie Corsos. Thank you for being a part of our Connie Corso community. Remember, you can stay connected with us beyond the podcast. Find us on all major media platforms by searching for NWA Connie Corsos. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube, just hit that follow button to join the conversation and get the latest updates. If you have a burning question or want to apply to be a guest on our show, we'd love to hear from you. Simply shoot us an email at nwaconniecorsos at gmail.com 
And if you're a business interested in becoming a sponsor, reach out to us at the same email address. For more resources, exclusive content, and links to all our social media profiles, visit our website at nwaconicorsos.com. It's your go-to destination for everything dogs. Thank you once again for tuning in, and we can't wait to bring you more exciting episodes where we explore the fascinating world of dogs. 